Hello everyone, I'm Lorenzo Salas and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my time as a technical writer intern at OPEX Corporation. A little bit about OPEX. OPEX Corporation is a company that produces software and machines that aid with warehouse automation. They were founded in 1973 and they're based in Morristown, New Jersey where they have about three offices. And now they've opened about a two-year-old office in Plano, Texas. The whole company nationwide has about 1,600 employees, so it's a growing company. About getting my internship, basically, I started looking on LinkedIn, Google, company websites. Then on LinkedIn, I came across the OPEX job posting, where I saw that the supervisor's name was linked to the job posting. So I got a free trial of LinkedIn Premium and reached out to her on InMail. You'll see the message I sent to her here on the right side of the screen. And yeah. After that, I was called for an interview where I met with them at the Plano office. We went to a conference room and I met with this technical writer supervisor and a senior technical writer where they sat with me for about a half hour and asked me questions about my experience, if I had experienced technical writing, and basically kind of the work I'd be doing. They, they went over everything about OPEX with me. They also pulled out my resume and gave me some pointers on how I could make it better, which I thought was really helpful and really cool. And it kind of got me to see what editing and, and the very basics of what I'd be doing looked like. The technical writing team structure at OPEX is set up. We are under the branch of warehouse automation. We are technical support warehouse automation. So there is a technical manager that oversees the technical writing supervisor. On the same level as her is a technical compliance writer. They're based in New Jersey. The technical writing supervisor has about eight to nine technical writers under them. And then me, the humble intern, aids the technical writers as well as the supervisor. The primary software we use, we use a documentation so processing software called Adobe FrameMaker as the primary. We also use Jira software, which is an issue management software. A lot of Adobe Photoshop to uh, edit graphics. Adobe Illustrator for the same thing. Confluence we use as a library where we keep information like our styles and standards and best practices for documentation. And Microsoft Office is very useful for getting things going. Right now, my main duties are updating existing documentation, taking photos and editing photos of products, producing new process documentation, whether that be for software or machinery, gathering information from subject matter experts, and performing peer reviews alongside the other technical writers. I have two work products that I've prepared. So here's an example of a work product that I have. As you can see, it's all bookmarked, and this has a navigable mini table of contents at the top. This one is about using the JIRA software, so this is going to be internal uh, process documentation. But as you can see, it's organized, it files styles and standards of OPEX, and it is still a work in process. As you can see, it's a draft version too. Another one is a service bulletin, a safety service bulletin about electrostatic discharge, basically giving notice to technicians and other people who are working on the machine that electrostatic discharge can damage the machine and potentially be harmful. But this is an example of that work. I produced both of these from the ground up. I even took these pictures. So it was a lot of fun making it and seeing it come together. Let's get back to the presentation. How well did UNT prepare me for this role? The tech comm major courses are really, really helpful. Intro to technical writing and then writing technical procedures and manuals. These two classes I would really recommend if you want to get a very, very good basis for what technical writing is and you'll learn a lot of styles and standards in terms of the industry and it's really good also english major courses made me a very confident writer so there's that i can write very long form short form whatever we need and i'm comfortable and confident
my biggest challenges at OPEX were I was the first intern at OPEX for technical writing. So we were kind of waiting uncharted waters, but I got it to a lot of responsibility, which was really cool. I feel like I got a very unique experience for that reason. Also, there was a lot of renovation going on at the office, so I was alone there sometimes, which got a little bit lonely, but I still got plenty of work to do to keep me busy. And then, yeah, like I said, because I was the first ever intern, I had a lot of work, and I often did the work of a full-time technical writer, but it was an invaluable experience. In terms of my overall career, getting an interview was a big challenge. Again, I had to send out 15 Staying motivated during a COVID shutdowns is also something that I'm sure we've all dealt with. And then finding the right fit for me in terms of work, a team environment, and things like that were very important and kind of challenging at first. What have I learned? Related to the internship, I've learned attention to detail, technical accuracy. I've gained the ability to read mechanical and electrical schematic diagrams. I can use Adobe FrameMaker, which translates well into learning other documentation documentation processing softwares. I can build a document from the ground up. I can use Jira and Confluence. And I can update and improve documentation as well as edit and peer review things. It was really, really helpful in that way. Overall, working with a professional team towards a common goal. I learned what the office environment was like, which a lot of people don't get. Um, Microsoft Teams and Zoom, which are very important to be familiar with. Also, the quality of work is far better than finishing it fast. I learned that. And then communicating with other people in other areas of the company. Like I said, as a technical writer, you'll you'll have to speak with subject matter experts and other people to gather information for your documentation. What I would change about my approach, I would get LinkedIn Premium sooner. Uh, It really made the difference. And being able to reach out on InMail to job posters is really, really helpful. Also, I wish I would have kind of pivoted my first attempts to get into UX writing. That's something I'm really, really interested in. Technical writing is a great, great place to start for UX writers. So I'm very comfortable with where I am at now. And so far, I'm really happy with the way everything's gone. Thank you so much for listening. Again, my name is Lorenzo Salas. I was an intern at OPEX Corporation in Plano, Texas as a technical writer.